Now, we mentioned earlier in this lesson the difference between a broadcast domain and a collision domain. And I want to recap that just one more time so that we're 100% clear on it. So right now, this topology that we're looking at is showing us one broadcast domain because both of the interfaces are assigned to a virtual local area network, or VLAN 1. What we do see here is two different collision domains. So F1 slash 0 slash 20 is in one collision domain, and F1 slash 0 slash 21 is in a different collision domain. And switches offer all those really cool things for us like micro segmentation, and so they can basically create a freeway internally or a path internally between F1020 and F1021 for data that's traveling between the two, and nobody else sees that. So it can connect those dots internally inside the switch there. Now let's change things a little bit. If I were to change the VLANs, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30, now what I've got is two broadcast domains and two collision domains. So that's really all that's happening here is we've just isolated our broadcast domains by assigning VLANs. So let's get into a little bit of the configuration of a switch. And let's talk about, on a live switch, how layer two switching would look and some of the things that we're gonna configure. 